Okay, let's go over a common physics problem. A thin rod has length 2 meters and density function rho of x equals to negative x minus 1 squared plus 1. Find the center of mass LCM. Well, for any object, the center of mass basically is the point at which the mass on the left and the mass on the right is going to be the same. So if I have a rod and the density is the same throughout the object, that is the mass per unit length is the same throughout the object, then the center of mass will just be in the middle because the mass on the left is going to be equal to the mass on the right. However, in this case, we have a varying density. That means that as you move along the rod, the density, the mass in that area will change. So how are we going to do that? So let's just take a quick look at this function. Rho of x equals to negative x minus 1 squared plus 1. In that case, it just looks like this is a parabola. Uh, the top is at y equals 1, and it starts at the origin and goes to x equals 2, which is the total length. So in this case, if we want to think of this as showing our mass, then our mass for a certain area is the area under this curve. So the total mass is the total area under this curve. Now since it's a parabola, it has symmetry. So we can say that the center of mass, the point at which the total mass on both sides is equal, it's going to be just in the middle. But how can we show that for any function mathematically, because not all functions are going to have a simple graph like this. Well, it turns out we could just use integrals. So the formula for center of mass is 1 divided by total mass of the object times the integral from 0 to the length of x times rho of x dx. So how can we do that for this object? Well, if we look at the mass being the area under the curve, then the first thing to do is to swap out 1 over m with 1 over the integral of rho of x from 0 to l. And now we multiply this by integral from 0 to l of x times rho of x dx. So if we multiply this out, we end up with something that looks like this. Length of the center of mass is going to be equal to the integral from 0 to length of x times rho of x dx divided by the integral from 0 to length of rho of x dx. Now it's important to note that this does not equal the integral from 0 to L of x times rho of x dx divided by rho of x dx. Because in that case, rho of x cancels out, and that's just the integral from 0 to L of x. That will not give you the center of mass. So for this problem, we know that the length is 2 meters, and the density function rho of x is negative x minus 1 squared plus 1. So let's plug that into the formula. So we should have LCM equals to the integral from 0 to 2 of x times negative x minus 1 squared plus 1 dx divided by the integral from 0 to 2 of negative x minus 1 squared plus 1 dx. So let's just solve that. Okay, so after multiplying this out, we can just integrate it. So the integral of negative x cubed is negative x to the fourth over 4 plus integral of 2x squared, which is integral, which is uh, 2 thirds x cubed. And then on the bottom, we have the integral of negative x squared, which is just 
negative x cubed over 3 plus the integral of 2x, which is 2x squared over 2. And now we plug in the numbers. So since this is 0 and there's no constants in this, we can just ignore it. So the answer is just going to be negative 2 to the 4th over 4 plus 2 thirds 2 to the 3rd divided by negative 2 cubed over 3 plus 2 squared. And this is just going to come out to, let's see, 2 to the 4th is going to be 16 divided by 4, so negative 4, plus 2 thirds, 2 cubed is 8, 2 thirds of 8, divided by negative 8 over 3, plus 4. So that's just going to simplify down into 1 and 1 third divided by 1 and 1 third, which is 1. So our answer is 1 meter. And 1 meter out of 2 meters, that's exactly halfway. So as you can see, the equation worked. And that equation, LCM equals integral of x rho of x divided by integral of rho of x. That works for all of these center of mass problems where you're told find the center of mass of a thin rod.